Yes, so now we are discussing about horticulture business. In that, to today we are discussing about the tomato farming. Tomato farming. It is used in diverse ways in the form of salads, juices, sauces, ingredient for various culinary preparations, etc. Interestingly, China ranks number one as the largest producer of tomatoes. And the next point is uh, tomato plant information. Botanically called uh, Solanum lycopersicum, tomato plants are actually vines. If given adequate support, they can grow up to six feet tall. In traditional farming in greenhouses, they can live up to three years. The vines are covered with uh, short hairs all over and the flowers are yellow in color. And the next point is ideal conditions for tomato cultivation. A warm but cool climate is needed for tomato. It can't tolerate high light intensity as well as, as well since it affects the fruit pigmentation. And next point is the climate for a tomato farming. Being warm season crop, tomato crop requires an ideal temperature of 21 to 23 degrees C. Tomatoes are highly sensitive to climatic changes. For ideal growth and yield, tomatoes need a diverse set of climatic conditions at very every stage of a growth such as seed germination, flowering, fruiting, etc. Tomato farming needs a warm and cool climate with medium sunlight, both heavy rainfall and a prolonged dry spell affect the growth of tomato plants. Our next point is uh, soil for tomato cultivation. Tomato needs a virus set of climate for its growth. Diverse set of climate for its growth. It can grow on all types of soils from light sandy soil to heavy cleavy soil. A well drained soil with a depth of 15 to 20 cm is ideal for yielding a healthy crop. pH for tomato farming. Soil pH falling in the range of 6.0 to 7.0 is preferred. A slight sliming along with adequate nutrient supply can help tomato crops grow better in acidic soil. And the next point is water requirement in tomato plantation. Tomatoes are sensitive to both excess water as well as very little water. A major challenge in tomato cultivation is maintain an even moisture supply during summer. It is necessary to irrigate the crop once a week while, while irrigating it once in every two weeks is sufficient. Care should be taken to prevent any drought period after a heavy watering goes. Drought followed by an, an abrupt watering during the fruiting phase would cause cracking in tomatoes. Our next point is crop rotation with the tomato crop. Tomato belongs to Solanacea family. It can't be rotated with other crops belonging to the same family like potato, tobacco, bell pepper, etc. It must be rotated with crops. that to fulfill the nitrogen content of the soil. Leguminous crops are the most recommended for this purpose. Tomato crops are hence rotated with the leguminous crops like beans, pulses, etc. Mm. 
next point is the land preparation for tomato cultivation the field for growing tomatoes must be thoroughly decimated and fragmented thorough repeated plowing it needs about five plug out five plugins before cultivation the step after plowing is leave leveling the land is leveled evenly and beds are prepared for planting the tomato seeds the land must be sterilized after plowing so as to destroy the disease causing pests and microbes they are commonly sterilized by solarization and next point is the season for tomato plantation since the tomatoes are dead neutral they can be grown during any season in the southern parts or in southern parts tomatoes are transplanted in three cycles december to january june june to july september to october in the northern state plains the transplantation schedule is below the crop next point is crop july kharif crop october to november rabi crop february to february months jade season it transplanted during september and october months in the southern plains only if adequate irrigation facilities are available similarly in the northern plains in the northern plains rabi crop may not be taken since they may get affected by frosts during winter tomato seeds these seeds the seeds are first raised in the nurseries and then transplanted after a period of 30 to 40 days 45 days hybrid and exotic varieties are sown in small plastic cups while other varieties that are not too closely to produce are sown in nursery beds specially raised for the purpose next point is transplantation transplantation is done in shallow furrows or flat beds as per the irrigation availability during the monsoon and in case of heavy soils seedlings are planted in dry in dry in ridges so that the water doesn't get logged in case of hybrids and in determinate varieties seedlings must be stacked using bamboo sticks if planted in furrows then they are planted at a spacing of 30 cm from each other for spring summer crop the spacing maintained is 75 to 45 cm and 75 to 60 cm for autumn and winter crop and the next point is harvesting from tomato plantation tomatoes can be harvested within 2 to 3 months of plantation depending on the market demand 8 to 10 harvesting of tomato is done on yearly basis the average tomato crop yield per acre in india is about 10 tons although the yield varies from 15 to 20 tons per acre in case of irrigated crops this is the information regarding the tomato farming it is having very good demand in the world for tomato juices tomato sauce and and vegetable mark in the vegetable market also this is the main source of uh, uh, cooking uh, part tomato is uh, having very good demand in the market so it is also a profitable crop but only one thing is uh, marketing areas also um, farmers should find out according to the marketing areas they should supply in time frequently then only it will be successful only lots of uh, tomatoes are coming and uh, there is no market means they will lose so much so periodical supply has to be there to the market units so marketing strategies are most important and where to supply when to supply and uh, how we can collect the money all these things also we should think over then only it will be a successful successful business because uh, production will be there 
and as well as the demand, we should act, we should catch the demand also in the same way. That is also most important. So communications are most important in this manner. To farmer to farmer and farmer to dealer and supplier and distributor and all these. If you maintain all these things, you will be successful in this business. Wishing you all the best. Wishing you all the best.